First Warning Weather with Jim Spencer. Some isolated showers in southeast Travis County again today, but again, not a drop fell at Camp Mabry. The entire month of August, only a trace of rain at Camp Mabry. How rare is that? Well, since 1856, 150 plus years ago, uh, we have only had eight Augusts where there was not anything measurable, either zero or a trace. So August 2010, one of those eight. Uh, for the year, we still have just a little surplus, so that August deficit ended up at two and a third inches. It was also the second hottest August on record and the hottest ever in terms of the morning lows. Did you feel that every morning in the month of August, that it didn't seem right? It wasn't. The average low temperature was above 76 degrees, well above average. 87 is where we are tonight. We're partly cloudy. Uh, by the time you wake up in the morning, 78. At noon, 92, and at 5 p.m., 98 degrees with a slight chance of a rain shower. By the way, kind of a summary of the August climate data available on my blog tonight on KXAN.com. We've got so much to talk about. Don't have time to get all into that. Uh, temperatures in the 80s across the area right now. Muggy, though, it feels like it's in the low to mid-90s. 87 at Mabry and 87 under a partly cloudy sky at the airport. Winds are 5 to 9 miles per hour, generally south-southeasterly across most of the area. Mold dipped back into the medium category today. That's good. Ragweed low, but I'm afraid mold may be a little higher again tomorrow, possibly back up into that high category. 78 in Dallas, rain-cooled air up there, very warm and humid south of there, all the way down I-35. Big thunderstorms erupted over Dallas today. They had to divert 11 flights to Austin Airport uh, this afternoon. Some folks sat in the tarmac for a while. They uh, actually had the opportunity to get off the plane because they were there uh, so long. Uh, I think most of those flights are now back in uh, Dallas. Uh, the front that triggered some of this activity, Northwest Texas stationary tonight in the Panhandle, but tomorrow will advance a little bit back down to the southeast, still northwest of us, and so most thunderstorm activity could get a little closer to the whole country tomorrow. Tomorrow night, though, and then it's Saturday or Friday morning, we think that front will be close enough that some of that rain may be in the hill country or in the metro area even Friday morning. What about the rest of the day Friday? Well, the front should march on through and by 6 p.m. be on south and southeast of the Austin area. So hopefully by the time Friday night football games kick off, uh, the rain is over with. But some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms certainly possible during the day on Friday. Then after that, that front's going to make some pretty nice weather around here over our Labor Day weekend. Well, there's the big hurricane. In fact, the National Hurricane Center says just a few minutes ago, it's now stronger. It is now a 140 mile per hour sustained wind Category 4 storm that puts wind gusts at 167. It's only about 550 miles or so southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Uh, those folks are fretting it up there tonight because the storm could be very near the outer banks as a major hurricane uh, tomorrow evening. 125 mile an hour winds. There's a trough coming across the Great Lakes, the same one that's going to send the front through Texas that will turn this thing. Uh, but if it doesn't turn it in time, look at there, Category 2, Friday evening. Uh, just off the coast of New England and in the cone there, I mean, 100 miles east of New York City, in the cone of uncertainty with this hurricane, Category 2. Well, that is something else. I haven't seen that in a long time. Fiona, a little tropical storm down here. I'm not going to worry about her. She's going to dissipate as she moves up towards uh, Bermuda. Gaston developed today. I don't even have time to tell you about the new wave that just came off of Africa. It's going to be the next one. Now, Gaston is going to move west this weekend. Could be a Category 1 hurricane as it approaches the, uh, the Lesser Antilles, the islands out there, by Monday. We'll track him over the weekend for you. Okay, lows tonight. Whew. 76 to uh, 79. Tomorrow, highs in mid to upper 90s. Tonight in Austin, 78. Low clouds. Partly cloudy tomorrow, 98. Chance of rain where you are during the day, 20%. That's about 30%, 40% late tomorrow night and Friday, 40% chance. But just in time for our holiday weekend, it's out of here. Some drier air, some cooler air in the mornings, afternoons that aren't that extremely hot. Well, that's, that's good timing, isn't it? Wake up with us in the morning. Sean will have the very latest from the National Hurricane Center on this dangerous hurricane. Weather and traffic together every 10 minutes beginning at 5. Texas is rolling out another appliance.